afternoon. This is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Stocks weekend video for January 11th, 2016. It's 4 p.m. right on the bell. As you can see today that we were we closed on our lows for the day, actually. We were way up on the opening right when the unemployment report came out. And like I've been warning, we uh, you had to sell the rallies until the objectives of a lot of the divergences have been reached. So as you see, the ESs are down 22. You have the NASDAQ down 31, the Russell down 16. You have the uh, Dow Jones down 191. You have the transports down another 49. The Nikkei down 325. Let me tell you why we went down and what traders were keen off of today. Number one, the ESs, and I know everybody said, well, and let me take this off so you don't see the indexes, get a clear view here is the indexes are on support we opened up but this is what traders were keen off of go on number one the first objective spx is nowhere near its 200 day uh weekly moving average so what you see in here on a weekly and i'm going to unlink them so you can get an idea this is why i'm not long-term bullish this is why on the simpler stocks premium side i'm sitting here harping on looking for short swings, not long swings. And any long-term trade has to be a matter of hours or, or a day. Because until this SPX gets down to the 200, I'm not going to be bullish. Now, you might wonder what I'm talking about. Look at the SPX on the left. Look at the NDX on the right. The NDX has led for an entire, you know, for years. Look how far these are from their moving averages. Now, what I want to contrast is where the Russell is, and the Russell usually leads the market. Look where the Russell is, and look where the transports are. Transports undercutting their moving average, Russell undercutting its moving average. That's my point. As long as these are down here, this far down, I can't think of doing a long swing trade until I see the SPX and the NDX follow suit. Now, today, why did we go down? Look what traders were keen off of. They saw these moving averages, and they saw the support in the Russell and the transports. And then what happened today? And I'll use the Russell futures. It's a little easier to see. So look at the Russell on the left on a 15-minute chart, and look at the ESs on the right. The whole key on this is where the Russell tried to bounce on the opening acted great everything's acting great when it all of a sudden got to undercut and was down for the day that sort of put the kibosh on the rally today when it really fell out of bed right here that's where the es's are like wow look at that right there and so that was one of the keys the other is even with the es's rallying today until like i said the very close watch what the nikai was doing on the left it was just falling apart all day. And when I saw this just falling apart, I'm like, that's another tell that the ESs were going down. But from a simple, just simple point of view, certain sectors that were starting to act good today, look at Goldman Sachs today, was actually up almost four points. Look where that is on a weekly and a lot of people thought the banks could provide some support because they're right at their 200 also. And then Goldman Sachs, look what it did in two minutes. The two minute chart, it just fell apart as well. So any incentives that there were of the, the ESs, the E-mini futures, all the little accelerants that could have kept the market up, when they reversed, the whole market just gave up. Now, another thing I want you to see from a just a simple point of view Look at a 15 minute chart of the ESs. And notice here we go again with this ledge trade. The more times you can draw a horizontal line, the more significant. And when it broke back under it right here, that was all she wrote. So I, uh, that's one thing I wanted to show you in here. What do I think for next week? We're at a real big level right here. SPX, put this on a daily chart. And what you're seeing in here is the failure to bounce at all means you usually have margin call Monday. We could get down to here. I would, If you're bullish, I would love to see a big washout. And what I mean by a big washout 
is a 40 point move down on the SPX overnight. Look at this right here, 2000. See that ledge trade? We went down at the minimum, I said 1920. That's where we, the maximum, 1920, that's where we are. Now that we closed on its low today, you have to put in the idea that it at least undercuts the 1900 level on Monday. Then you could have the panic, you could buy on Tuesday morning, and that'll probably be a temporary bottom. But you have to see some leadership in either the transports, the banks, or the Russell before I would re really recommend just swing longing. So I hope this helps. I hope everybody has a great weekend. One thing I wanted to show on here is next Wednesday, there's a, uh, uh, there's a, uh, a class from Bruce on, uh, on uh, let me show you on here, messed it up. And I'm sorry if I messed this up. Let me get it in front of me. Bruce is doing a class right here on using diagonals to increase flexibility. Most of the butterflies I've done to be profitable were after watching him before I joined Simpler Options. I actually paid the $99 for one of his classes on butterflies. He's an expert on these. I'm gonna be watching this diagonal thing. Not only is he an expert, but he consistently makes money on these kinds of spreads. Whether it's diagonals, whether it's butterflies, he is somebody to be reckoned with. So if you get a chance, you should uh, uh, watch this class and pay up to see this class that's next uh, Wednesday at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central. Is I'll be watching it, even though I'm working all day and I'm putting in charts all day and I'm doing the videos, I am not going to miss his classes. They really help me. And if something can make me money, I'm going to watch it. So I hope that helps everybody. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you on Monday.